All right, what do we got here? I gotta set the mood. Oh, that's nice. This is actually the proper way to smell a candle right here. You wanna just waft it. And then you can do it this way too. Push the air like this. You don't really wanna slap the air because you'll get it too, too harsh of a, too pungent of a smell. You wanna push the air. This is the real way to waft right here. Just push it into the... This one I'm, I'm getting apples and chives almost. And it's almost like it's a pudding. Apple spice chive pudding. That's what I'm gonna guess here. Vanilla, oh. Well, yeah, I'm getting that too. This one too, I'll light here. Now this one, ooh, this one's a little bit darker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. I'm getting, oh, definitely some garlic. Celery, pear, cinnamon, basil. That's what this is. This one, oh, also vanilla. Oh, well, I'm gonna like both of these. Let's get started. Good morning, you beautiful horn dogs. It's time for another episode of Reading Dirty Fan Fiction. So we did this a couple times last year and uh, just out of curiosity, I went on Wattpad, which I guess is the website where people do this shit, and I searched my name and I found three real spicy fanfics. Now, if you've watched these videos on my channel before, you already know the drill. Other people do this shit too. But they don't say the bad shit. They don't read the awkward words. I do, that's the goal here, is I read this as seriously as I possibly can, all right? This is gonna be dramatic. Let's get into the first one. I'm feeling fucking saucy. I hope you guys are. <laughs> I'm feeling, I just, I just ate a hot dog, so I'm like, Super horny. I was sitting in my room watching Cody Co videos. I heard a knock on my window. It was Cody. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. Sometimes I just kind of like my ears are burning and I'm like, someone's watching my videos and I'll just go find them. And I'll just like be puck and a pop in the window. Hey, what's up? <laughs> you enjoying it? You know? I asked him why he was at my window. He told me he wanted me, and he has for a long time. He climbed through my window. He almost couldn't fit because he's so thick. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I'm not that fucking thick, okay? I can fit through a window. I can still fit through a fucking window. I smacked his tight ass as he walked across my room. He pushed me on the bed. He pulled down my pants and screamed into my puss puss. LOL, SO QUIRKY! Holy fuck. I yelled into her puss puss? For the love of Christ. He got out his horse whip that he brought on Amazon. <laughs> he whispered into my ear as he whipped me. Nay, I screamed. I pulled out my fidget spinner as he put on a vagina face mask and whipped me. What the fuck is a vagina face mask? Like the face mask that looks like a vagina that I had in one of my past videos or is she talking about some sort of exfoliating face mask made out of Vagina juice or something. Are you feeling my member inside of you? Asked Cody. Yes, Chody. I said in a sensual voice. I swear to God, if someone called me Chody during sex, I just would just completely. Five hours later, we were done. Five hours? Holy fuck. That's impressive. I can go like three, maybe. <laughs> A few weeks later, I was nauseous. I thought I was pregnant. We went to the Safeway to get a pregnancy test. I looked down and saw he was wearing camo Crocs. Why the fuck are you wearing camo Crocs, I asked. Because I like camo, he quietly said to me. Oh fuck, I misdelivered that. Because I like camo. He walked away dragging his camo Crocs on the floor. I got the pregnancy test and went to look for him. I found him in the cheese aisle looking at the laughing cow cheese. Just looking at it? You gonna buy that or? No, 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 I just like the label. 10 years later, we have a kid who's really popular and likes to wear camo Crocs. That was fucking beautiful. And, and a happy ending too, you know? That's, that's all a parent really wants in life is to have their kid be really popular. God damn. That one got me all sauced up. I'm ready for the second one. Let's see here. It's called a collision with destiny. Cody loved the ex- Let's like probably not stutter every fucking word. Cody loved the exhilarating rush of adrenaline that came along with coasting down the streets of Venice Beach on his custom designed blue and white penny board. The bleach blonde locks that normally hung in lifeless strips strip- What? The bleach blonde locks that normally hung in lifeless strings draped across Cody's forehead danced in the wind as his damp mauve t-shirt clung to his pecs. 
Oh man, describing hair as lifeless? Whose hair has life? Like Medusa's, I guess? Also, why is my shirt damp? Just sweating. He felt free, liberated from the monotonous grind of life he had endured each day over the past several decades. Okay, several? Eh. Fuck off. Yes, indeed, he was in a state of pure bliss, until his tranquility was interrupted by a piercing shriek. Cody's eyes shot open. Just as he collided with a surfer, the woman absorbed the impact as Cody fell into her, his arms flailing wildly. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry! <laughs> He braced himself for the wrath of the surfer, though he couldn't help but subtly look her up and down. She was probably around 66 inches tall by his estimates. Why am I measuring in inches? I have, what the fuck is 66 inches tall? 66 divided by five and a half feet. Okay, now I'm gonna pretend that I just did that in my head. She was probably around 66 inches tall by his estimates. 66. That's what, five and a half feet? He lowered his eyes and gazed upon her perfectly symmetrical tanned face. Cody couldn't help but gawk at her well-muscled neck. He knew what he could use that for. What? Her tiny waist flared into a set of luscious hips. My god, thought Cody. Those bad boys have got to be 39 inches. He bit his lip imagining the backside of her muscular surfer bod. What's with the muscles? The breasts were okay though. Nothing to write home about. But overall, the verdict was that he would smash. <laughs> Decent tits, great neck. I think it's gonna be a smash for me. Keep your eyes open next time, she laughed. He felt a surge of relief after her nonchalant and, well, somewhat flirty reaction. The surfer licked her lips. My name is Samantha, she replied. What the fuck is that? Licking her lips like a fucking hyena? I'm Samantha. <laughs> Cody seemed to have forgotten he was still sprawled on the pavement due to the collision. Why don't I just... He bashfully looked away and spread his legs ever so slightly. Stay down here. What? What is gonna happen here? Are they just gonna fuck on the Venice boardwalk? Are they just gonna slap hams on the fucking right there in public? Cody, she giggled shyly. Sorry. Cody, she giggled shyly. We're in public. Cody cocked his head and grinned. Well, good thing I live right here in Venice. Oh, Cody, she gasped. Oh, <gasps> Cody. Take me back to your place. We don't have to go far, whispered Cody, biting his lip and raunchily jamming his hands in his pockets as he stood up. How do you even raunchily jam your hands in your pockets? <sighs> he grabbed her hand, leaving his busted penny board at the scene. Fuck that thing. I don't need it. I'm about to go smash. He had something else to bust now. Nice. Wow, that's good. That was good. Cody barreled down the street through the throngs of pedestrians, hand in hand with, with Samantha. We just, we're just sprinting. <laughs> Come on, hurry! There's no, there's no time! Seconds later, they were in the lobby of Cody's apartment. God, I can't wait till the elevator gets here, he moaned. Me too. I can't wait to get in the elevator. Samantha was exploding with enthusiasm and sexuality. The elevator arrived with its signature ding. The elevator is here, cried Cody. It's the most amount of times the elevator has been written in three sentences. Let's get in the elevator, gasped Samantha. Cody herded her into the elevator. Herded? What is she, a piece of cattle? Just, just running after her like a sheepdog? Get in there! <laughs> Resisting from grabbing a handful of her voluptuous backside. Babe, your ass fucks, moaned Cody. I can't believe I just said that, right here in the elevator. Oh my god, there it is again. He smacked the button for the third floor, gnashing his teeth and growling. I really am a sheepdog, holy fuck. The mirror's in this elevator, let me- God damn it, stop saying elevator. It means nothing to me now. Elevator, elevator. The mirror's in his elevator, let me see you at every angle, Samantha said, stroking Cody's blonde string cheese hair. I like what I see. More of that to come when we get off the elevators, retorted Cody. God, this feels like the longest elevator ride of my life. <laughs> I can't do this, you're fucking with me, right? You have to be. This is, this is on purpose. The next few seconds before the elevator re- one more fucking time, I swear to God. Reached the third floor of Cody's apartment in Venice Beach, felt like millenniums, but they made it. Let's get off his elevator, exclaimed. You really did it. You really did it now, didn't you? Wow. The two stamped down the hallway as Cody's painstakingly unlocked the door to his apartment. He thrust it open and he and Samantha busted through. 
making a beeline for the bedroom. Are they about to smash? He stood before Samantha out of breath, naked except for his navy boxer briefs and black combat boots. Samantha's jaw dropped. Wowza, she uttered. The girth and length of your genitalia is without parallel, she moaned, quivering. Samantha whipped off her skin-tight wetsuit and flung it towards the gaping window, which was cracked open to allow for better air circulation. Fluid gushed down her toned inner thighs. That's not from the ocean, she whispered seductively. Ooh, I'm about to make a face mask with that. Mm. Their lips practically intertwined as Samantha sucked on Cody's gums while he worked his tongue over every millimeter of the roof of her mouth. Okay, so now we're switching to the metric system? Because we were all about inches before, but now we're in millimeters. Which one is it? Just pick one. Off came the boxer briefs, snagging briefly on the thick soles of the combat boots. Still got those on, huh? Samantha flung the briefs into the whirring ceiling fan and gripped Cody's massive dick in her perfectly manicured hands. He sucked on that thick, glorious neck. Now came the part he truly relished most. Cody grabbed handfuls of her underwhelming bosom and vigorously motorboated her lackluster cleavage. <laughs> now Cody could get straight into the meat of it. Stone cold, down and dirty fucking. He could hear the trademark squelching, slurping noises of total arousal between Samantha's legs. <laughs> He grabbed wildly at Samantha's hips and threw her on, onto his unmade bed, casting aside his dirty laundry, which landed unceremoniously on a pile of damp towels littered with crumpled tissues. Why everyone fucking? Why does everyone write me as a goddamn slob? I'm not a slob. I, my room is clean as fuck. Okay? Have you got protection? Whispered Samantha. Cody bolted upright. Shit! My condom stash is in the pantry! I'll be right back, I swear. Okay, they better start fucking soon. Cody scrambled up, and as he clomped towards the door in his Doc Martens, Samantha caught a glimpse of his perfectly sculpted calves. Cody, wait, she said, her eyes fixated on the bulging, intricately inked calves. What is it, babe? He asked concernedly. Fucking gay tattoo, she deadpanned. Completely turned off and dried up. Cody did not engage in intercourse that evening, but overall it was a pretty satisfactory day. The end. Good. Good! Ah, that was a good one. I like that one. That was just good, not, for, not hurtful at all, and it was good. This is why I love this series, you know? Just get to, get to you know, kind of just mess around and you know it's always really just in in jest you know always have a lot of fun but it's good you know not insulted at all so it's good it's good it's all in good fun you know good stuff all right well i'm gonna go thanks for joining me see you guys next time